Here we go, August 2011, part two, one, part one, 16 through 30. The length of a rectangle is three inches more than the width. Did I already do this problem? I feel like I've done this problem. Whatever, August 2011, I guess they all start sounding the same. Three inches more than the width, so let's let the width be W. This is W plus three, and the area equals forty. All right. So width. These are the gonna. These are gonna. What is the length in inches? This. These are the lengths. These are the lengths. And the width. The length is three more than the width. So these are the length. Five, eight, eight point five, and eleven point five. So we work backwards. The width would be 2. Well, that doesn't have an area of 40. In this case, the width would be 5. That has an area of 40, so the length must start at 8. Interval notation. Don't forget the parentheses are for less than or greater than. The brackets are for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So greater than negative 6. Doesn't say greater than or equal to negative 6, so it's got to be either this one or this one. Less than or equal to 14. You've got to have a bracket. There's your answer. These are quadratic. This is a linear absolute value. Quadratic. The answer and exponential. Then has four more CDs and twice as many as Jake's. If they have a total of 31 CDs, how many does Jake have? So if these are Jake's, these are Jake's. Then has four more than twice. So if I twice that and four more it, that gives me 18 plus four, which is 22. 22 and nine is 31. There's my answer. I mean, I could have gone through all these twice that. That's 28 plus. Four, that's 32, but then I add them together, not to make any sense. What are the roots? I could just graph that. Gosh, bless it, five and six. Signs are the same because it is a plus six, and because this is a minus five, they're both going to be negative. Negative two, negative three. T chart, I get x equals two, and x equals three are my roots. Be careful. Graph it. If I was to graph this, it would be like that. And it would hit around two and three, so be careful. All right, first thing I'm going to do is move this, move this over to here by adding it to both sides. I'll subtract that, and bring it over, and this side. So I get negative 42 is greater than or equal to 14x divided by three, and I get x is less than or equal to three. Careful. Less than or equal to three. Qualitative means quant qualitative means things you can't add up, things that you want to, like traits. Eye color of students is qualitative. Number of students in class can be averaged. Average ages of students, average. Scores of students can be averaged. Jake wants to replace the flooring as rectangular. I mean, keep coming up with these. Actual minus estimated over actual. So the actual is 13.5 minus the estimated, which is 12.8, all over the actual, which is 13.5. Let me grab my exhaustion. What is this called? 13.5 minus 0.7 over 13.5. We get 0 0.051851. We're out of the thousands place. 0, 0.052. Moving right along, boys and girls. Remember the formula? Principle. Times 1 plus or minus the percent raised to the number of years. So the principle in this case is $2,000. Now we got to decide if it's going to go up or down. It's going to increase. So we're going to add 1 plus 4%. Remember, that's 0 0.04. And we're going to do this for three years. Type that bad boy into my calculator. <laughs> Can't have 0.7 kids, so let's go to 2,200. Come back. 10x card is label from 0 to 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 10 
cards. Oh, holy crap. Ten cards. Odd number. One, two, three, four, five, five lines. Prime number. Number that is at most five. Most it could be as five. It could be five, more or less. One, two, three, four, five, six, six out of ten. Number is divisible by three. Divisible by three, divisible by three, divisible by three, divisible by three. Four out of ten. The outcome that is, is most likely to occur, number at most five. Adjacent side is 10. Find the hypotenuse. Test mark. Adjacent and hypotenuse, you'll remember, is cosine. So cosine 38. This is actually kind of a hard question. So this is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cross multiply it. X times cosine 38 equals 10. X is equal to 10 divided by cosine 38. Divided by both sides. 12.6901. Come by. 6 nine always comes up in this test. I don't know why. Alright, so you got to be careful with these ordered pairs. One of them's going to be right here. So let's see. Negative 2, negative 1. Is that really there? It is not because it is not on that dotted line. Look for ones that are up in this area. Negative 2, positive 2. Yes, that's probably my answer. Negative 2, negative 4. Nope. Ne uh, 2, negative 2. Nope. Two. Fence. We're going to put fence around. So if I put fence around here, that's 8, and that's 14. 8 plus 14 is, in fact, 22. So I'm starting with 22. And I, obviously, that should be... Oh, oh. these are... Stupid, I guess forget that side. And then we want the circumference. Our circumference is equal to diameter times pi. Well, diameter is 12, so circumference is equal to 12 pi, but we only have half of a circle. So we need 22 plus 6 pi. So this is a hard question because normally you might want to put this one because it is the difference perfect squares, but you have to take out the GCF first. That's what the word completely means, and the GCF is actually 4. It's actually just 4. 4, and I'm left with 9x squared minus 25y squared. And then this fact just to this, 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 this one, the cube. y cubed times y cubed is that. So choice 2. And 30. Alright, remember when we divide, we're going to flip and multiply. So x over x plus 4 times 2x x plus 4 x minus 4 x factor. x plus 4 is canceled. That x cancels with that x. I'm left with x minus 4. And that ends August 2011, part 1, 16 through 30.